Oof, this is so sad. Another one, boys. It's, yes. This homicide desk is getting too long. Ah, another one. And there's Tyra, I know it's that. Where's she behind? Train? Of course we were Ooh. looking. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Election year, night? Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. None it would appear stuff. that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring. A matching engagement ring. Sound hmm. familiar? Dear Drew Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. Hmm. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. A 40 year old white woman. Ah. <sighs> right, Skipper. Another one. I've noticed that the women are yeah, all probably like usually over 35, I think. Around. None under uh, under that age. Another body, and Deirdre Muller's ring. Oh yeah. The emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Wait, well, exactly. where am I going? Get that book of riddles ah, up your here, ass. right? Is that what your old man what? paid college No, that's, a inter for? that's an interview room. I think the vice oh, boys get any on Yeah, side. okay. I see. Right. Uh, so the game just hates the me using regular cop car, so I'll just use my own. Now on. Let's go to the pond, bro, because that's where the dude wants us. Oh, You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. Hmm. I'm going to the case that two episodes ago, or what? Is that I'm not sure. Money too long. Well, okay. Right. Hello. Uh, I'm Mr. Oni. boys. Where are you? Oh. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am hmm. I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? Fifty bucks. Try another number. Twenty? Try ten. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Hey. Right. So, Uno. What's this mark here? Eight. Maker's mark. Usually oh. traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Down on Broadway, alright. Is this the same one, I guess? Does this mark mean anything? Oh, the carrots. All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. Okay. Thanks, bro. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 hmm. Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Dark hair, huh? Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Can I talk to him again? I'm stumped. Ideas? All right, we're rolling. Out to the rail depot. Can I go here? No. All right, let's head to the crime scene for finally. Bad English. Let's go. So it's not safe. Um, railway or rail yard, whatever. So, where's my partner? Partner? Here. Where the fuck has he gone? Dude, let's go. 
Or are you just stuck here? What now? All right, we're rolling. Out to the rail depot. Can I just make him drive me or some shit? You can drive. He's oh, there he is. Okay. Finally, you're coming. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. Purpose having fun with us. Hmm. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that one? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, oh. then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And hey, how do we prove it. that, Belt? Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to maybe rely on this will, guy tripping up on his own vanity. Uh, hey. That's you beautiful. boys ready? Follow me. Alright, how far We should keep this development with the rings under our hat until we speak to the captain. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. Got it? Yeah. I get it. I just don't like it. Uh, that's respectable. Railway. Rail yard, whatever. Oh. Still has clothes. Hard, right? isn't it? Yeah. Huh. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson right. found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk Why? to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Right. Where's the corner? Corner? Hey, there's the boy. Hello. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age. Lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing. Uh, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Hmm. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. After midnight, huh? Right. Blood splatter. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. Most likely. Let's see what's wrong with her. That's not what I wanted. Hey. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Yes, you have. There has to be two, right? Hey, what? There's a second one. People can wear two rings if they want it, if they're weird. Oh, my. Ah, uh, Cole. Go to the middle, please. No? Yes, there you go. Smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Hmm. The autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Can you be more exact about the hmm. time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Okay. TOD. Probably game maimed. Who knows? Handbag. What is it? What's in here? Oh. What's this? We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. Ah. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Wait, what? Wait, so then she was a former movie star then? Is this? Someone hmm. was trying to get her to come home. Well, she. That's depressing. She dead now. Right. Bars. Another one of those mattress things. Right. Ah. Uh. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Hmm. 
cool. What's this? Excellent shit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. Hmm. Alright. So, that's all that's on the mat. What are you What's thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. Yeah. We're just running to catch up. Hmm. The train is coming. Uh, let, actually, let's just... Let's go phone it in first. And then we'll talk to the boys. Right. Phelps badge 1247. How hmm. could I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest door would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. Right. Thanks for that. Let's talk to the witnesses. But I could get a was Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The oh. woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Mm. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. All right, cool. Now, this man. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, mm. I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you ah. doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. Ooh. I was kissing her. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not against Damn. the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh. What classic carmine? Is this Let's yours, Ferdinand? Too. No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! Oh. Mm. Don't hit him. Can't do that every time a, a person just pisses you off. You can't you, do that, uh, man. You went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Yeah? You're looking like Superman now. How do you look? You actually look honest. Uh, Did you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. Hmm. All right. Discovery. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Ah, uh, you don't look honest now. Get that Why didn't background? you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She You're wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. No. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine. T ah. Friends of mine. What? You get this sack of shit into a cell. I'll deal with them later. Sure, Rusty. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Bruvy. Let's. Wait, can we take the coroner's vehicle now? Or no? You gotta be hey. kidding. We're driving this? Yeah, we're driving that shit. Come on. Right. Going destination. Oh, yeah, it has a horn as well. Oh boy. Jesus, oh, Phelps! I thought it was destructible. Damn it, uh. Rusty? That's all. That's all I remember. Shit. Got his name. Read to those guys. Watch where you're driving, Whoa. you maniac! Oh. I thought that was just dirt. Or railroad on the dirt. Whatever. 
read that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Hey, China. Yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. I want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the others. Really? Oh, hell yeah. I guess that's okay, then. Armies can't fight without food. Yeah. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, yeah. the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this mm. country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? That's true. This officer needs help. Bradley, the Bradley, the seventh and all of officer needs ah, shit. You're kidding me. I gotta deal with What's this What's the now? situation? Half a dozen shooters, sir. Cold-blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. What do you mean? Witnesses say they bounced in, aced the guards, and went straight downstairs. Oh, they got Price tongue. knows who they're working for, but whatever's in that vault, they want it bad. You bet your ass. This might or might not be in the recording. Depends on Stick the wrong how thing much you need Got it. We've got Get a clear him, cowboy. the bottom floor. Come on, make a push for the building. Mm. Right. Oh shit. Uh. No, no, that's not what I want. <laughs> Throw out the guns. I know you're there. I'll lay down the suppression fire. Stay down! Stay down. Yeah, come on. Oh, look at someone down. Stay in cover! Yes. Fell to the cover! Oh. Oh, yes. Nice one, Cole. Alright, so what's next? Or what's. Inside. They blocked the goddamn stairs. Detective, take the elevator. All right. I got you. I'll wait here. Don't give them a chance to regroup. Wish I'm me luck. I'm trying to use the elevator, son. Oh. Wrong floor. Oh, oh no. You have no idea. Buddies upstairs Damn are it. dead. That leaves you, pal. Right. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Johnny? Give it up! Oh, yeah. I know you're there! Who's here? Ooh, a boy with Give a thumb. Give it up, thumb. chump! I know you're there! Right. Time to leave. Step out, dude. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 go back, go back. <laughs> Shit. You're fucking Ow. Right. Oh, God. As soon as he pokes his head, step on it. Just you and me. You can live to tell the tale. Oh, wait. On this guy. There! Light him up! Ooh. Oh. He's in the desk. Nope. Oh, hard shot, dude. Beauty. Nice. You hmm. gotta be kidding. We're driving this. Hey, what? Don't Car 11K. So Shots fired. Man. Suspects are down. We're code four here, but I need an ambulance at Bank of America. Seventh and Bank Olive. Of America? Notify okay. coroner and detective headquarters. Well, sir, I use Amazon. Oh, yeah. That's not even a thing. Bank of America. Code four. Right. Four street memes out of 40. Damn. Oh, okay. Great. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? We're gonna look like beauty, man. Funnily enough, this door was just one turn. One turn away from 
that street, that street crime that we just completed. This is, there's another cock block. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? Yes. Yeah. You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show mm. us, please? Sure. Come this way. All right. Lead the way, senor. Uh -oh. Oh, excuse me. Uh... We got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. Well, you look like it. One hell of a story. You would be interested. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't oh. have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store. That was never going to work out, was it? When would we'll it? take a look around. When would it ever work out? I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Hmm. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Oh. All right. Bowling pin? What? Um. Hey. Bowling bowling. bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Nice. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of Ninth and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. Oh, okay. Cool. Something else. Ah, picture. She wasn't always such a loner. Hmm, had a family. And book? Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. Ah. Uh, oh, I can still investigate it, huh? And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. Uh, I couldn't figure it out from that writing. Right. Another. Oh, it's just a picture, though. Broken window. Probably struggles or something. Hmm. Well, I don't really see anything else. Unless I am missing something. Oh wait, nope. Let's not do that again, yeah? Right. Hmm. No. Yeah, I think that's all here. Alright. Unless there's something here. Something else just outside. No? Hmm. No. Oh, oh no. Okay. Right. Anything else, sir? Oh, contact. Okay. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit? To pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Ah, okay. You seem truthful. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. Present? She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Hmm. All right, Are you right. and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. Hmm. Uh, you sound honest. We got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her staying here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. Oh. 
To be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. All right. What's your knowledge? You know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Not personally? Oh, short and quick. Hmm. Ah, uh, you're looking all over the place, though. Come We're ahead. struggling for leads, Robin. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. Idolized? From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He mm. seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Ah, uh, all right. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robin. No problem. Hey. Hmm. I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. All right. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Well, at least you were kind enough for her to let you let her stay in your bar, not the bar, your liquor you store. You gotta be kidding! We're driving this. Yes, we're driving it again. Right, let's check the bar. See any memes here? Oh, Jesus, no. Honestly, if I could put any of these vehicles in Need for Speed, why not make it this? Because the e brake is honestly not that bad. Hey! Boa! All red, huh? I don't like the static, honestly. Drink, fellas! Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain <laughs> in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Mm. Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. All right. Let's ask you. You were hiding. Wait, is that a newspaper? No, damn it. You a okay. friend of Evelyn Summers? Who's asking? Very cute. You know who's asking. I know my rights. You don't no. have any. Answer the question. Hey, God. Evelyn him. mooches for drinks. I don't have any time for that. Was that so hard? Keep writing me, copper. Ah, uh, copper, okay. That was discriminatory. Discriminat What's your name? The day. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Hey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers? And why she was found beaten and strangled in you the rail depot on Santa Fe. Cold Jesus. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. So you just knew of her existence. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Skirmishes, huh? All right. Their face doesn't tell the true story, full story, though. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, hmm. that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. Comrade. <laughs> All right. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. Wait, bullshit. You ha There's a book in Evelyn's thing. You're lying, McCaffrey. You look down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again. I got I a royal flush. Woman. I got a royal flush and a ray gun, my guy. Where's the book? There it is. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself, lending his books to his acolytes. 
She mm. hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it, as if she could even comprehend any of it. Hmm. All right, son. Salty about it. I saw her Just going to a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Yeah? Thank okay. you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. All right. That car's being pushed in my face again. Who's in this corner's car? We're driving this? Yes. And we're going to the alley this time. I don't care about the central station. Go away, cars. Thank you. Ah. Lady from Shanghai? That sounds like an interesting movie. And I think any banter from Cole and Rusty? No? I guess not. Ooh. Wait, this is the station. Ah, oh, shit. What does the station want with us? Uh, what's up? The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. All right, thanks. All right, move aside, partner. May I open my own door? Technical services. Ah, oh, Captain. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. Mm. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, oh. same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure oh. you want to know? Ray? As well, far as we can be BD? sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, though. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Yeah. Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good mm. leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. All right, bro. Shall do. Ah, well, that was. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address from McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet hey. you outside. Well, okay. Oh, wait. Trace the address. Is there a phone here? No. Where's the phone? Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my saddle. Ah, here you go. Operator, Oof. message for KGPL. Oh. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? Can you send me your I means? need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's finally go to the bowling alley, because I want to go there. Hey, and he accepted the corners. you got to be thing. kidding. That's We're driving vehicle. this? Let me yes. pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slam river found out. Huh. All right. I see how it is now. It's closed. Or not? Oh, I guess no one. Not, not, not that much people here, huh? 
Ah, never mind. That's a that's already a lot of people than the people to cars ratio. Right. Hello, Rusty. Two on oh. your usual lane. Rusty, how? Oh. I'm Detective Phelps. Homicide. You must be new. <laughs> yes, What's your shoe size? What? We're conducting an investigation, ma'am. Do you know the name Evelyn Summers? Sounds like I should. Oh, maybe it could be Jimmy's friend. Jimmy? James Tierney. He's a pin James set. Tierney. Hmm. One day he introduced me to a lady after work. Stuck in my mind. Because she was much older, too old for him. Where can we find Jimmy, Florence? He'll be hopping around the lanes toward the back. Thanks, ma'am. Not towards the back, okay. Let's go get him. Right. Call me. Oh, oh, wait, uh, no. Wait, wait, wait. I saw you. I saw you. Tiernan! LAPD! Don't run. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? Oh, he has a car. There! Ooh! This looks like a. Rose what are you waiting piece. for? Let's Get go. after him! We Why might go faster if we weren't carrying the extra weight. Oh. Okay. These are flashy cars <laughs> to be parked outside a bowling alley. The lanes attract a fast-living individual with money to burn, Cole. Or a middle-aged individual with the need to feel virile. Oh. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. I yeah, got gotcha. Another runner. Well, at least we've got a suspect. Why do they always run? I'm sure we've got the wrong person in more than one of these homicides, but they always seem to land. You know, your theories are not airtight by any means. Lord of heaven. Oh my god, you just... Game ended a civilian. Don't go to sleep on me! Get me back in clothes! If this isn't the killer, we can at least get him for reckless endangerment. That's unless he runs into a wall and sees all the trouble. Hey! That's me, that's me. Come on. Flip up that gun out. Give it up! LAPD! Hey! Cole doing his best. What a lad. Absolute legend. I have a feeling that Tyranny was literally just A posing. Not T posing, A posing. Hmm. Right. Car. Oh, I want the corners car, man. Ah, oh, whatever. This one has the horn. Or the siren, I mean. Wait, hold on. Did I get a... Oh no, that's... Those are shots fired. I don't want to interfere with that, but can I... Take an address or something? No. Okay. Whatever. I'm crafty, let's go. Let's not get rolled over yet. Oh. I am not responding to that call. Calling all cars. Citizen reports. Officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. 6th Street and Lindley Place. 6th Street not and Lindley me. Place. Unit to handle. Code 3. Identify. Not me, Sano. Oh, nice. Complex. So I could kind of use a not really a face lift, just a wash up, I guess I can call it like that. Ah. McCaffrey is in apartment six. Apartment six, huh? Oh, excuse some more. Uh, no law? Wait. Is. Okay, that's just one through four. Six has to be at the second level. Yes. Wait, I went the wrong way. Six. Hello? Doesn't look like anybody's home. Nah. Okay. Piss off. What? 
do you want? Oh, there's nothing here, okay. Anything? Any books? What's this? Oh! It's the second half of the letter. Torn from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Definitely does. Wait, there was also a book there? I don't think it's anything, right? One Circumstantial. Of what? Critical theory? Whatever that means. <clears throat> Nani? No good to me. Alright. Also, nice Buddha, dude. <clears throat> I actually like it. Nani? Oh. Tire iron. Oh, wait. The dude. He said he was at home. We see we seen the cr criminal with the tire iron. Let's see, Carruthers argues his way out of this one. Hmm. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him and in a hurry. Are you gonna give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. Oh. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Hmm. Drunk and in you command are. of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. Maybe. All right. So up the stairs, she said. That's the guy from the papers. Solve that big. Oh, case. you're a dude. Okay. Um. Oh, here. These stairs. Makes sense, you. Oh, there's the dude. You just grabbed a pigeon like that? Grosvenor McCaffrey! Hello. Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit You're down and we'll it. talk! I'll go get our wheels. Where have you gone? Ah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Shit. Damn it. Oh, you're kidding me. Where is this dude gone? Right? You a runner, yes. McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight! Come on, partner, what are you doing? You're taking forever to get into the car. Get over here, come on. Come on, let's do some athletics. Damn it. Give it up, LAPD! Yeah, you don't have to say it. Oh, we're getting close. Tackle him, tackle him. Come on. I believe in the good fight. The good meme. Woo, let's go. McCaffrey. Yes. You're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Ooh. Summers. Additional punch. Very nice. Alright. So, guessing we're going to the department again? We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's gotta be McCaffrey. Yeah, yeah sure, I think. Yeah, to set him up. Maybe. I think that knows? asshole Jameson Whoever did it, it was that Dahlia fuck. Yeah, probably not a negative deal, yeah. We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together. I'll hold you to that. So who are we going to interview first? Oh. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. Hmm. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan isn't one, McCaffrey isn't two. I want a confession from one of them. 
All right. Don't fail me. Respectable. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Hmm. Is this the one I'm going to, supposed to do? Why did you run, Tiernan? Ah, Tiernan. I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. All right. Relationship. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I, I barely knew Evelyn. Barely knew? Hmm. Well. I think you're bullshitting, dude. Keep lying to me and I'll have you charged and in front of a grand jury before your feet touch the ground. How can ah. you possibly prove Evelyn and I were more than friends? Right. Let's check through our notebook, yeah? Um, not the letter, not the lipstick. Book, no. Liquor, I need the liquor purchase. Oh, wait. This can do it. McCaffrey right. gave you up, Tiernan. He says he saw you go into your hotel with Evelyn. I met Evelyn at the public library. We would read for a while and then go for a drink. Hmm. Last night we went back to my hotel room and had some more to drink. Oh yeah? I must have passed out. I woke up and she was gone. What time was oh, this? That's depressing. Around midnight, maybe later. And there's no one who can confirm this? No, there isn't. I knew you wouldn't believe me. <sighs> Aristotle's found. Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. You sure? Hmm. I'm starting to get good at this. I don't think you're telling the truth. We either hang this on you or McCaffrey. You better give us something. Well, McCaffrey's been in trouble with the law before. I mean, he always makes out it was some kind of labor dispute. But, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure. Yeah. Well, at least we got two, right? You and Evelyn were drinking together last night. And she had no other place to stay. I don't know what happened last night. I, I don't remember. Wait. You were hanging out with her, but she had liquor. She purchased this too. That You're I lying, Tiernan. You'd been fighting with her. You fought and I'm not lying! She got up and left! That was it! No. Oh, you can't do me like that. Right. Liquor purchase. She left, but she came back. She bought you a quart of whiskey to make it up to you. Oh, yes, she I told the liquor store owner, too. You're in deep trouble, buddy. She said she loved me. Ah. She wanted to care for me. But she would never stop talking about McCaffrey. McCaffrey was a writer, and McCaffrey was a hero. McCaffrey cared for the little guy. Did you kill her, Tiernan? I might as well have. Mm. Kicked her out. She had nowhere to go. <laughs> All right. So. Access Do to you own me. a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. Pin my oh, pin setting. Okay. Your eyes are giving it away. I don't think you're telling me the truth. Coroner's report says that Evelyn was killed with a wrench. I think you did it, and then planted the evidence at McCaffrey's apartment for us to find. We went to his apartment. McCaffrey was up on the roof. Evelyn stole the book. <laughs> McCaffrey went crazy when he found out. He said, he said he would put her out of her misery. He can uh -huh. be very cruel. Oh. Okay. Right. Um. Charge. Let's charge a suspect. James Tiernan, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. I believe you didn't know what you were doing. I'll speak to the DA on your behalf. That's the best I can do for you now. Ah, shit, okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I think I kind of fucked up. 
did not want to do that. And interrogate that. I'm going to assume that you both have very good excuses for what happened to my station today. You had a perfectly good candidate for a capital case, and somehow managed to choose a weak-willed sub-sister while the murderous Red walks got free. I'm having doubts about what you're prepared to do to make a case, Phelps. If ever there was a time for manufacturing evidence or extracting a confession, this was it! Now get out of my sight! Nah. Run down pickpockets oh. and fruit flies and lead the real work for men of substance. All right. <sighs> Shit. The third degree trophy obtained. We got one clue. <clears throat> Oh, three stars though. Diminish responsibility or not, James Tiernan will not have will have to face up his crime. Okay, I see how it is. Well, that was that was pro most likely not the best choice, but I'll leave it off here. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like for this episode, and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And I shall see you in the episode you watch next in this man. Peace.